And before the tide take the field, the Tournament of Roses Parade will ride through the streets of Pasadena. And behind the towering designs decked out in roses is a Tuscaloosa native, Scott Wedgworth. When he found out Alabama was ranked number four in the college football playoff, he knew his dream to design the Alabama float for the Rose Parade would soon come true. I've seen a lot of flowers in my career, but the first time I went to Pasadena, it totally blew my mind to see that many flowers in one place. It was like, for a floral designer, it was heaven on earth. For more than a decade, Scott Wedgworth has been the lead designer of the spectacular floats that dazzle in the Rose Parade. The only thing that could make the experience better would be combining his love of roses with his roots. The chance seemed finally within reach in 2021, with Bama slated to play in Pasadena. And then when we found out COVID was going to derail the whole thing, it was very disappointing, but something told me that one day I would get the chance. It didn't take long for the Tide to clinch a spot in the college football playoff once again. Just two years later, in a nail-biting decision, Alabama was headed back to the Rose Bowl. We were actually doing a Christmas installation, and it came across on our phones, and it was just unbelievable thrilling because I knew I was finally going to get that shot. Um, I immediately called my boss out in Pasadena and just to confirm and he said, yes, you will be doing the Alabama flow. And so he was off. Wedgworth left for Pasadena before Christmas to put the final touches on the parade's floats with thousands upon thousands of flowers. I met with him before he left to talk about the opportunity of a lifetime. For a Tuscaloosa boy, you know, growing up in Tuscaloosa around the university, you know, being homegrown in Tuscaloosa, this is perfect for me. It's, it's a dream come true. Can you give us a peek or um, talk about what the design will look like for Alabama's float? Yes, actually I can give you a few little hints. Um, there's, of course, there's going to be thousands and thousands of red roses, thousands of white roses, all red and white. Um, the float features a huge football. The Crimson Tide design isn't the only float Wedgworth had a hand in. He helped bring the creativity to life for 11 other floats, like this one for the San Diego Zoo. Now, as the final touches are made, Wedgworth will watch his dream, years in the making, blossom into his reality. I've had lots of favorite floats. This is going to be my favorite one just because it's a representation of where I'm from. You know, it's part of who I am. And you can catch the Rose Parade tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. on ABC 3340.